So, despite some hiccups, electronic voting machine malfunctions and other technical issues in some polling locations were seen as not out of the ordinary today, and voters across the country were largely able to cast ballots without any major instances of harassment, intimidation, or threats. Our William Brangham has been following election security, and we turn uh, to you now. William, so what are you hearing from election security officials about what they've seen? Uh, well, Judy, as you were saying, it has been a blessedly event-free day today, which is great news for anyone that wants to see this process unfold so that we can actually figure out who voted and count those votes in a, in a normal time frame. Um, there have been, as you mentioned, four months now, concerns about intimidation, threats against election workers, allegations of fraud. And so far, officials have said that there have been no major attacks or instances where that seems to have been occurring. There have been, as you as you indicated, a few instances. We heard Stephanie there talking about Maricopa County. There were reports today in Detroit that voters were showing up to vote and they were being told that they had already voted. Uh, that turned out to be a problem with the electronic poll book. That was fixed very quickly. Uh, there was a situation in Luzerne County, Pennsylvania, where they ran out of paper ballots. And uh, so uh, both parties went to court and they've extended voting hours in just that county till 10 p.m. tonight. Um, there was a case in some North Carolina counties where uh, they had to delay and, and extend voting because election workers didn't show up on time this morning. This is not a great day to not show up on time for work. No. <laughs> but overall, it has been a blessedly boring day in election infrastructure world. And, uh, and just quickly, I know there have been also attention about foreign uh, interference in our elections, but you were telling us that, that so far uh, nothing significant on that front. But I know you're going to continue to watch it. That's right, Judy. There have been no instances, after lots of fears about foreign interference, no reported instances today from federal officials at all. Great news again. Great news, and we can be thankful for, for all of that. William Brangham, and we will be coming back to you throughout this night as well. Thank you.